We are going to talk all about potty training. It should be becoming. Yeah. It should be becoming. <laughs> How many kids have we potty trained? Seven between the two of us. So I believe that that means we are experts. Yeah. There's just so much. We have so much to say about it. So much knowledge. <laughs> Crap. Crap. Poo-poo's. I love cockas. <laughs> oh. So tired of the consequence. So May has three kids and I have four kids. <laughs> and we just finished potty training our last babies. Oh, is it your last baby? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely my last baby. That's for sure. So a big thing when you're potty training is you have to like set time aside. You have to decide we're potty training, we're staying home, we're doing this. The first day, this is what I do. I um, give them all the drinks. I set them on the toilet, a real toilet, not a little tiny one. Yeah. We have an extra little seat that goes on so they don't fall in the toilet. Mm -hmm. um, and you can get those at like Walmart. Yeah, and they have like a cushion yeah. so it's softer. So they're sitting there, we set up YouTube, we just do that, that's what we do. Yeah, you get an iPad, get your phone out, and just or you can sit and watch. Yeah, or you can show. read books. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do YouTube, you can play little like finger games or whatever. But basically you fill up their bladder, you give them like salting crackers so that they're thirsty a lot, and they're sitting on the toilet watching something very entertained, and it will just happen. They will pee. They have to pee. Yeah. It takes sometimes some, a long time, but it yeah. happens. I know. And then as soon as it happens, you praise like crazy. Yes. Yay, good job. So usually what we do is we'll give them like a sticker that they love, like these McQueen stickers. My little boy loves these. Mm -hmm. And get a big load of these, like m and something like Skittles, something that your kid loves. So they're really excited when they do the potty and you just like praise them to death. Yeah. And it seems like as soon as they do the one pee pee on the potty, they're like, oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so then we don't sit there all day anymore. We just, you know, look at the clock. Like every hour we go and sit and we ask, do you need to go potty? Did Is you your pee pee coming? Yeah. Is your pee pee coming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll say, my pee pee's coming. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cute. These are Lego watches so that the boys can be like, it's time to go potty. It's time for the pee pees. It's time for the poo poos. <laughs> yeah. And now the poo poos can be a little tricky. Uh -huh. Seth and I, okay, through all our kids, never really experienced it being that hard with our older ones, but are we just the last ones we potty train? Oh my gosh. So I hard. don't know why. I, we both waited until they were a little bit older, like three almost years. three, three years old, to potty train them. And we're like, maybe that's the reason, I don't know. But yeah, that can be a little tricky. Yeah, so my boy, he knows what to do. Like he's gone poop on the potty a few times, but he will just hide. He'll hide from me and just go in his pants. And uh, that's not good. But what I've learned is that getting angry or frustrated just makes it more scary. And so don't do that. <laughs> just say, oh, it's okay. Accidents happen. Let's try again. To try to get it in the potty next time. Yeah. Make sure you tell mommy when you need to go. Yeah, it's, you just have to constantly be on top of it and be very aware, especially after they eat. What I've noticed is there's kind of like a routine with the pooping. So after they eat, there's like 15 to 20 minutes where it's like, oh, we better go sit and just see if if we can get a poop. Yeah, out. things are moving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be cleaning out the underwear or throwing them away like I do now because I'm just like, I'm done. I yeah, can't. I can't. I'm not even messing with this. <laughs> for the kid it can it's kind of sad but if there's underwear that they especially like like Lego underwear and you have to throw it away then it's like oh no I don't want to come away my favorite underwear so they'll hopefully <laughs> usually try not to and they'll try to make it to the potty in time exactly right yeah that's so true <laughs> oh and another thing with the sticker something that I've done and I'm sure Steph has done too is getting a chart of some kind and they can put their stickers on the chart, and once they hit a certain goal or amount of stickers, you give them a chance to go get a big prize. Mm -hmm. So, like, we were given these awesome Legos. 
This could be an example of a big prize, something that they are looking forward to earning after going a certain amount of times. Yeah. And you know what we did is we actually wrapped them up in little gifts, like mm -hmm. a little gift that they had to open. So it was extra fun. Extra they, special. Yeah, and they didn't know what was inside. That's awesome, yeah. yeah. Such a good idea. Um, one thing I did with my daughter is I actually put all of the stuff to prepare for potty training in a present. So it's exciting. So like putting, uh -huh. putting like undies in there, the stickers in a box, even putting juice boxes or whatever their favorite drink is in the box and wrapping it really pretty so they feel extra special about the time that they're going to be potty training. But another thing, we have a list of books to oh, help yeah. get your kid like thinking about potty training before you do it. And if they're struggling with potty training, you can like whip out these books and kind of give them a refresher. The very first book that I ever uh, uh, read to the little kids is just called Potty, right? Mm -hmm. Is that the first one you did too? Yeah, that was definitely one of the first ones. It's just very basic, like, oh, we're gonna switch from uh, diapers to undies. Because babies wear diapers and big kids wear They're undies. Kids. Yeah, yeah. And that book has been so loved mm -hmm. in our family. And we'll put links below for all of these books so you can go click them and get them. Um, another good one with like poopy problems, if your kid's having poopy problems <laughs> like mine. Um, <laughs> That's awful. There's one book called Where's the Poop? And that one is just a book about all these different animals and where they poop. And in the end, the human does a poop in the potty. <laughs> so, and it's like a flip book, yeah. so it's interactive and the kids kind of uh, get Catch to on. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. One of the ones that um, I really liked reading to my, my youngest child that I, I think is a newer book, it's called Vegetables and Underwear, and it just, it kind of shows the kids the difference between diapers and underwear, and these little vegetables, <laughs> I mean, it's so cute, wear these undies, and it talks about how it kind of gives them like superpowers and how awesome it is to wear undies. And for my daughter, one of the books that really, really, she just loved this book was called Princess Potty. And inside the book, it talks about this princess and how she's growing up and needs to go potty. And as the child is reading the book and practicing potty, going potty, she has a crown. And every time she goes potty, she gets to add a sticker that's like a jewel to this crown. So by the time your child's potty trained, they'll have this crown full of jewels, which my daughter just thought was the best thing ever. So. A Potty for Me is also a really good one by Karen Katz. And Potty Superhero was another really good one that my son loved this last time. So there's so many good options. If you go on Amazon, we'll have these links below, but you also see on Amazon, there's tons of really highly recommended books that you could share with your kiddos. What I've learned in the end is if you have a positive attitude and you're really like empathizing with your kids and just keep it a happy thing, that they'll catch on sooner than you know making it like a scary negative thing that is dreaded and it yeah. just you know you'll bond more too it's I feel true. like like we totally me and my littlest one right now are just really bonded over <laughs> the body. body training yeah it's so true <laughs> good luck <laughs>